Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, Rafael. I'm doing great, I guess. Hi, you're being good evening. How are you doing, guys? How was your weekend? It was fine, thank you. It was very exciting. Thank you. Oh, really? Why? What did you do? Uh, I was uh, watching some movies some an application and I have learned more vocabulary. Uh, was that English? Yeah. Cool. English. Okay. What were you watching? Uh, for example, I'm watching Spider-Man, the trilogy. Oh, okay. Uh, when you say the trilogy, what do you mean? <laughs> the like old, the old movies? The, the old movies. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, my, my, uh, I don't remember the name of the, this guy. Uh, I think it's like Wire, I think. Yeah, I think so. Last name. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. I just remembered the, like, the first uh, movies. The thing is that my favorite actor is the second one, the skinny boy. So I have seen, yeah, I have uh, seen just, Andrew Garfield. I'm not quite sure what his last name is, probably. Rafa Raphael? The second one. Do you that like those movies one. too? The second and one. The third one is um the name of this guy. I don't know, but I haven't seen the last uh, movies. The guy who appeared in the Avengers and all of that. So uh, I didn't watch like the last i don't know if there is only one or two i'm not quite sure uh what about you guys are you into movies as well hi chrissy hi, good evening hi good evening teacher great to have you how are you doing how is your weekend going hi sylvia good evening did you have a nice weekend good evening teacher yes hello oh. I have a great weekend. Oh, nice. Good to hear. What did you do? <laughs> that troop is, I don't know how do you say, forrar cuadernos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I guess you got babies. <laughs> yes. And the school started. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That is thrilling. It's, well, I love because I have like nephews and nieces. So I love to help them. But when they have like different color, like notebooks, that's pretty cool. Otherwise, yeah, if it is only plastic now, that, that's not that cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was uh, 36 books. No kidding. Yes, because uh, they are two, two girls and mm. Uh, there are 18 books for each one. No, oh yes. my goodness, that's a lot. Okay, uh, I think it's fun if it is only like three or four, <laughs> but not 36. Oh yeah. my God, okay. So that was a mission, definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, but the yeah. good thing is that you enjoyed it. So I think it's just fine. I think I saw Louis here. Um, let me see. Well, I see Miss. Hi, Sophie. Good evening. Uh, it's Chris there. Francisco, good evening. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, thanks a lot for being here. Good evening, teacher. Super cool to have you. Hi, good evening. Uh, guys, this is going to be our last week of classes. Uh, pretty much we are finishing the level, which is amazing, like super fast. Right, I have. Uh, I think that time has gone uh, pretty quick. Um, so we are finishing this week with unit number five. I think the topics are pretty interesting. Uh, we are going to change a little bit, like the the topic we were discussing last week, and this one we are going to be talking a little bit about employment, like jobs, and a little bit more related to um, our daily struggles. I have to say, like the things you like, the things you don't like. So let me just uh, share with you a question that I have here because I think it's pretty interesting. Um, and uh, I have chosen like five different categories. So for example, the first one is name the jobs. So which do you consider 
are the like best paid jobs in El Salvador. Like maybe not a job that you would like to have, but a job that you consider you can make a lot of money if you are into this area or into, or if you have a job like this. Which the do doctors, you teacher. Doctors? The doctors, yes. All right. No. The, the, no. I, the no. odontologist. Oh, all right. So some dentists probably, I have to say, maybe not doctors, but maybe surgeons. Probably yeah. surgeons, like people who are more specialized, right? Like cardiologists, probably, uh, like people, neur neurologists or something like that. Because I think I that think being, uh -huh. the other, um, dentist? The, the, yeah, but the, who, who see the brackets? Oh, okay. Ortho, orthodontist. Yes. Okay. Orthodontist. I'm going to ask my orthodontist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Okay. So orthodontist probably. Uh, any other job guys? Lawyer. A lawyer. A liar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lawyer. Developer. Okay. A lawyer. So a lawyer. Oh, they Pilot. Oh, pilot. Uh, Sophie? Oh. How do you say diputado? A congressman. <laughs> a congress. A the congress. Ah, cada rato se aumenta el sueldo. Okay, so they get, they get a, a, okay, a raise. So congressman. Uh, besides congressman? Software developer. Oh, okay. Like, you, okay. So that would be kind of a programmer, right? Or is it different? It is the same. Okay, so software developer uh, or programmer, okay. Programmer. Now also we have these uh, 21st century jobs, like YouTuber, TikTokers, and all of that. Do you think you can make money out of it, out of social networks? Yes, you can do a lot. And in El Salvador? It depends on the subscribers that you have, the views that you have. Uh, if you add some uh, advertising on your on your videos. Oh, nice. Bro well, I think it would be really interesting if somebody is into this. Guys, uh, have you ever made like TikToks? <laughs> have you ever get like, have you ever gotten any funds out of it or YouTube? I know that YouTube pays a lot of money. I'm not, I, I don't know exactly how it works, but I was uh, listening, for example, about this guy from Mexico, um, the one who is like a travel, I don't know how to call it. I know that he, yeah, that guy, um, he was saying once that uh, YouTube was paying him like around $20,000 per month. And I was like, wow, I want to do the same, you know? <laughs> but I don't know exactly how it works. Do you have any idea how it works? Does anybody know? Can you teach us, guys? Do we have any TikToker here? I hear that to, to do videos, but I don't have seguidores. No followers. <laughs> So no followers, no money. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, but you can share your, your video. If they are in English, I think we can learn, definitely. <laughs> okay, but that would be really cool. Menos chulona, así no. Me is in English, naked videos. Subo videos cantando, o dando una clase, o así va. Oh, really? No, okay. no, let's, 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 let's say that in English. In English, no, yes. the contabilidad. No, 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 say that in English. <laughs> so tell us the story in English. So you upload uh, videos, but no naked videos. Uh -huh. No naked videos. Uh, okay, okay. Well, uh, I guess we have to watch them. So that is upload, right? When you go to YouTube, to TikTok, and you send the videos up. All right. So you upload some videos. All right. So besides that, 
besides those uh what about the second guys um most dangerous jobs there are some jobs that are quite dangerous uh, besides the violence uh, characteristic of our country any uh, any job that you consider is really dangerous because of what you do not because of the area but because of what you do the policeman okay so being a policeman all right Construction. Construction, all right. I think electricians. Oh, yes. I agree with that. Especially because I touch anything that is metallic and immediately I have like a static, you know? <laughs> so that's bad for me. Okay, so electricians, construction workers, police officers, anything else? Any other job? The area where driving a... Uh, uh, Chemical. So anybody who works with chemical, you mean like like pharmacist? Mm, no, it's like uh, we're doing the or oh, use the material. Uh, I don't know. Dañino para la salud. Oh, okay. So people who work with disposal, disposal, disposable material or hazardous, so hazardous material. I don't know if you mean like people who process the material or, or people who process the waste of the material or both. Both. Yeah, right. Like these people who work, for example, for record batteries in Opico, mm -hmm. and uh, uh -huh, so they process not only the, the production, but also the waste that, you know, yeah. damage a lot of communities. Or right, That's mm -hmm. right. So they are hazardous material. Okay. Any other job you consider dangerous? Firemen. Firefighters. Okay, firefighters. All right. Is there any other? No, teacher, I think with this virus, virus uh, the nurse and doctors too. I totally agree with that. So they are like the front line, right? And they are like battling that up. All right, thank you. Now, so we have well uh, paid jobs. We have dangerous jobs. Then we come with regard, uh, rewarding jobs. So we are not like, let's say not in the sense of an economical thing but let's say in the um in the sense of satisfaction like the most satisfying job that you can get probably you don't make money probably it's or it's not like a lot of money but you get like a lot of satisfaction from it so which do you think are some jobs that are pretty satisfying or rewarding not in an economical sense but in that you say oh i'm doing something important I don't get money, but I'm doing something important. Be a teacher. Oh, okay. So being a teacher. A nurse. Being a nurse. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, how do you say in the the person clean the house? Like a um a housemaid. La muchacha. Housemaid? A maid? Housemaid. Mm -hmm. A maid? Okay. Housemaid. Is there any other job you'd like to mention? Hi, Dagoberto. Good evening. Long time to see you. Hi, Jasmine. Good evening. Oh. Uh, good evening. Rachel. Hello. Oh, Y la, la persona que recoge la basura, they are, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm, yeah, they, uh, they can be garbage called garbage collector. collector. Yes. Yeah, so the garbage collector, right? And they do something important. I mean, they work a lot with the garbage. Okay. So those are rewarding jobs. Then we have interesting jobs. But guys, before we go to interesting jobs, I have a question for you. For the ones who are working, in which category, category would you put your job? Probably if you're not working, so maybe you are a, house, um, a housewife. So it is a still a job. 
So in which category would you put your job? Is your job dangerous? Is your job well paid? Yeah. The most rewarding. Okay, it's rewarding. All right, so satisfying. Thank you. Sure. Yes. Nadia quiere, pero al. Francisco? Uh, what does it mean rewarding? Oh, rewarding is like satisfying. You don't make money, but you feel happy of everything you do. Rewarding or satisfying. So guys, what, what do you do for a living? <laughs> First, let's just start with the question. What do you do for a living? Let me see how many I got here. Uh, okay, so we're 13. Guys, what do you do? What's your job? In my case, I'm a software programmer. Oh, somebody says that it was a well-paid job. So you yes. can tell us about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, what about the rest of you? Rafael, what do you do? I am a marketer. Um, so what is that exactly? Marketing. Oh, okay. So you work in marketing? Okay. Sophie, you mentioned something about con accounting? Yes, accounting. Are you an accountant? An accountant, but no one like the, the accountant people. I don't know what. I have heard that it is like a repetitive job, but maybe you can tell us about it. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? What do you do? What do you do for a living? Irving, what do you do? What's your job? I'm a network technician. Oh, okay. Okay. Noemi, what about you? I am a certified auditor. So you're an audit? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, hi, Yolanda. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. What about yourself? <laughs> Fine. I have a comment. Sure. I am not agree about the account the accounting is a repetitive uh, job or, uh -huh. or, or is of repetitive activities mm -hmm. i think uh, you you need to to learn the the job because it's very interesting i am accounting <laughs> oh seriously okay yes you know i like my job i i, I am trying to I'm trying to uh, apply uh, my knowledge in my in my activities in the task manager act activity. No, that sounds really interesting. And actually, um, we are going to talk a little bit about that because uh, the people I have met who have who are either accountants or there is another economist. They have like a negative opinion about their own jobs, you know? So they, they say that work. they make money, but they don't really like it. So I think it's really interesting to listen to your points of view on this. Uh, why do you think that people may say that? Because I have heard this like a couple of times. So it's pretty interesting, you know? Um, let me just listen to the rest of your jobs. Uh, Elvis, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Uh, I am assistant to a program. Oh, or okay. Made a, a half, and the other persons mm -hmm. a inventory control. Oh, okay, okay. Francisco, what about you? I have a driver. Oh, I you're a driver. I think uh, uh, for me is the most interesting job. Are you a truck driver? Uh, uh, I drive uh, uh, a pickup. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. You know, my dream, guys, is to drive one of these big trucks. Um, I don't really know how to say that. Like a truck, but it's not a truck. Like a... Um, 
a, a cabezal, you know? <laughs> that has always been like my dream. I don't know why. <laughs> so I think it could be really interesting. Um, what about the rest of you? Dago, Dagoberto, what do you do? Rachel, what do you do? What's your job? Rachel? Uh, <laughs> good night, everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, now I don't be working because for, I know I'd be blessed because I received two scholarships. So I'd wow, be- Wow, congrats. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Very hard because I don't have time. Because at the same time that I'd be studying, I'd be a mom, but it's really hard for me because I'd be a study. I don't forget in English to say administration, company administration. And business the, administration. Yeah, if the other one is also in English, but more like, I don't know who said liderazgo. Leadership? About, leadership, yeah, about sales, about something more specific, like technical, English specific. So wow. that, yeah, I win the school. Well, I won the scholarship mm -hmm. in Colombia. So I be a study online. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard for me because I need to spend all my night and all my morning for also continue the study with the administration. So you have to be really organized in order to make the most you can about your time. Wow, yeah, yeah. but, but, but that is amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also like you have this other New way to study, yeah, right? I have this, this scholarship because English Corporativos is another way that you, you, you are in, uh, oh, I forget, aprovechar. Take advantage. So Take you get advantage. pretty much three different scholarships. Wow. So good for you. Take advantage of everything you can, right? All right. Yeah. So I'm missing Crisias. Girls, what about you? What do you do for a living? I am a study a dental surgery. Oh, and, nice. But in the future, I want to have my own clinic or maybe work with the government. Oh, For all the right. Moment, I, in my free time, I work in a business family. Oh, really cool. So you re, you are really uh, you are a really hardworking person, but that's nice. Somebody yes, said here that dentists make a lot of money, so you can clear that for us. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, Jasmine, I'm missing also Chrysia. Where is Chrysia? I think she went away. Veronica? Hi, Veronica. Hi. What, what do you do, girls? What do you do for a living? And in this moment, I don't have work. So you're a housewife. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's the most difficult job. <laughs> okay. Um, but I had a degree in marketing oh. and I have worked in various in various areas in mm -hmm. sales, administration, and life insurance. Oh, very nice. Okay. So sales and insurance. Uh thank you. Jasmine, what about you? Mm. I just started you now. Uh, after I I don't know, maybe I will work. I will continue studying. I don't know. <laughs> you haven't decided yet. Okay, that's okay. Oh, uh, Enrique, what about yourself? Good evening, teacher. Hi there. I complain. I complain because I, I was uh, uh, sending for email the request for the next uh, course of English. Oh, all right, that's okay, no problem. So we are just like uh, talking a little bit about jobs. So what do you do, Enrique? Um, I don't know if I say repair or fix, or it's the same. And both repair are okay. Fix, uh, fix computers, the hardware and software. Oh, um, nice. But I... I graduate in the university, in the administration of the and oh, yes. so you're a business administrator, but you work in in like in a different in area. My, you work with computers. Okay, uh, 
Actually, I am studying for lawyer in Satura. Oh, Satura you're Lady. studying law. So this yes. is going to be your second career. Yes, the, the, the second, I am studying the, the fourth year, fourth year. Oh. Nice, sounds great, sounds really good. Okay, guys, now with this little part that we got now, so we have a little bit of insight of what your job is, then comes the last question. What is your dreams job? Yes, Sophie. Solamente una cosa que me hicieron sentir mal porque dijeron de que mi trabajo no me gustaba o que no sabía nada. What do you mean? Que, que me hicieron sentir que dijeron, dijo allí que, que no sabía nada de contabilidad y tenía que aprender más. Pero no es eso, sino que la mala suerte que uno no haya trabajo fijo, sino que tiene que andar así rebotando. Oh, no, I think that was not the comment. I mentioned uh, that I have heard some other people saying that they don't like their jobs, that they find um, being an accountant a little bit of uh, repetitive. So I was asking Yolanda, uh, like, for more details on that, why they consider that being um an accountant can be a little repetitive, but I, I think, I, I'm sorry about the misunderstanding. Probably I, I was not that clear on that, but, but no, I didn't mention that at all. So, but, but you can give us like, like some details on it, no worries. All right, so um, guys, take a look at the last one we have here, that is your dreams job. So I got a question for you. Do you like your job? Is this your dreams job? Or what do you consider would be your dreams job? Have you ever thought about that? Do you feel- I like my job. You like your job. Yes, okay. it's interesting. Okay. Nice. But I like to, to be pilot too. Oh, that would be amazing. Have you studied or have you taken some courses? Yes, I have oh, the wow. li license, no the pri kidding. private license. Uh, so you can fly already? Yes, I can fly. Oh my God, that's amazing. Wow, super cool. But have you ever like been a commercial pilot? No, no, only private, private pilot. Okay, like in choppers? Uh, airplanes. Okay, but like airplanes. The, the small ones, right? The small ones, yes. Wow, amazing. I, I have always, you know, thought about going skydiving because that's like, wow, being in the high, but... I'm super, you know, happy for you. So that is like a dream come true. <laughs> so super cool. Yes, Veronica, tell us. Veronica? I'm sorry. No, no worries. The dreams job. Mm -hmm. For me, my dream job is to be a Central American region, regional mm -hmm. manager. Wow, and that's nice. why I wanted to learn English. Oh, super cool. Have you thought about the company you want to work for? Uh, no. <laughs> not yet. No. <laughs> so not yet. Okay, okay, nice. But that's amazing. Go for it. So you, you are super close to get there. Yes, Claudia? Well, uh, my, my dream jobs, my, my dream job was to be a, an architect. Oh. But uh, finally, when I studied computer, uh, mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Oh. Uh, because I think this, uh, this career is applicated in so many areas. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, right now, I want to, in the future, mm -hmm. I hope to be a software architect. Oh, is that a new career? It's, it is, uh, it's, 
uh, related with a computer, or, uh, but is uh, another uh, area of applications. Wow, yes. okay. I had never heard about that. So I believe those are part of the new um, areas or the new careers that are coming. So amazing for you. Sounds really cool. So um, a software architect, you said? Software architect, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, software, software engineer architect. architect, yes. It's oh. a, a new concept uh, in uh -huh. computer, but um, you can develop, design, and, uh, and sometimes test software for uh, companies, some companies. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. That is something that I learned today. So You're cool. Welcome. Guys, anybody else wants to share his or her dreams job? Or do you feel happy about the job uh, you have at the moment? Me teacher. Yes, tell us. Well, for me, my dream was uh, could be, be a doctor, but nice. that is a dream that I had when I was child and I didn't, come, didn't do it. So for me, it's something that like, oh, I always dream with that, that I some, in some case in my life happened to me, I study uh, medicine because one of my big dream was help the people in wow. another country. Like my dream, I don't know, when I was shy, my dream was I not travel to Africa and give my service like as- To be a volunteer. Be a volunteer, help the people because in a moment of my life, I was so like emotional when I saw many people. So I, I always felt that, I always say, God, please give me the, you know, the the opportunity, but didn't happen. Now that I visit the administration is something that I really, really love and something that I feel that I, I know that I don't wanna help like I want, like mm -hmm. help that the people like, you know, medicine but i've been doing something about the company i'm going to give my knowledge to the company so it's something like different but for me my real big dream was be a come be a be a, a doctor, doctor. Yeah. wow yeah. it's still i think that you're really young so um it is still something that is achievable it's something that you can definitely yeah, uh, maybe it's mommy now because I have many things. You have a lot of things at the moment. No, but in the yeah. future. So yeah, yeah. Having it yeah, as a second career. I'd be a mom in all my time. <laughs> I it's something that maybe when my baby grow up, maybe when she I know that the age it doesn't matter. Exactly. You want, to, you want to be someone in the life, you want to do something, doesn't matter if big or this is small that your dream, but now for me, it's I study this, what I be doing right now, give my baby all that she needs in the future. If, if I don't know, I think that if you want in the future, she want to be a doctor, give all, give to her my dream. <laughs> Definitely. So one step at a time, you need like yeah. to finish what you're doing at the moment. Um, yeah, yeah. Yolanda, I saw your hand up. <laughs> so tell yes. us. No, in my case, I love my job. Uh, I think it's a, every day is an opportunity, opportunity to do something different. Uh, and the, you have the connection with all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. I like uh, but uh, I think the my, I am an accountant. Mm -hmm. I think this kind of job was the um, bridge, bridge uh, the puente, bridge? the bridge mm -hmm. uh, with this kind of, of job because uh, the knowledge about numbers, mm -hmm. it's important because you need to anal analysis, analyze, analyze, it, mm -hmm. analyze, analyze. Uh, the situation. Uh, mm -hmm around the numbers well I, I think that being an accountant is really difficult um especially when you work with balances when you work with budgets and everything so that is something that um i was not born for that i love numbers but not in that way <laughs> so i mean i totally admired like what you do and uh, but i think it's really difficult i think it's it's not for everybody right so th that's 
I definitely a really good point. But I'm glad to hear that you love your job. So that is important that you enjoy what you do. Uh, just a few, and then I see Noemi. I'm la, the last one. <laughs> oh, you want to be the last one? My dream job is, is be a bodyguard. Wow, bodyguard. cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you taken any courses? Oh, uh, uh, yes. Oh. Uh, uh, courses? Karate do. Wow, super cool. What stops you? <laughs> so <laughs> why not? Ah, que por qué no lo hago? Uh -huh. What stops you from, from taking that path? Uh, no sé. English, Sophie. <laughs> Let's do it in English, ah, English uh, because I am woman and I know. Oh, I know. Okay. So you feel yes. that is a barrier? Is only for men. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's a very nice job, very dangerous. And you need to be really skillful. I I said that uh, of the mayor of the here in of Aguachapa, mm -hmm. but he say not because I am a woman. Oh, so yeah. that's discrimination. You should you should have told him. <laughs> okay, but you're not uh, uh, karate. Oh, you yeah. say you're not karate or taekwondo. Uh, karate and taekwondo. Super nice. Okay. Well, have you taken the INSP course? Uh, the one for, uh, for police officers? Cruz, in Cruz Roja. Oh, okay. So some first aid, like yeah. rescue team, uh -huh. rescue courses. Wow, yes. that's amazing. Well, so maybe in the future you have the opportunity to, to apply what you know, but it's really interesting. Oh, wow. wow, super cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, and casa I, yes? I see very recompense. No, casa recompense, how, how do you a say bunny it? hunter. <laughs> so you want to be a bunny hunter. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write it in the chat. But in El Salvador, I don't know if they exist. I know that in other, other countries, that is a very, um, you know, required job. And uh, I saw somebody else with the hand up. Give me one sec. No, I mean, tell us. Um, I like my job because I learn different things in different areas, oh. but I would like to work in Colombia's forward company. Mm -hmm. as a regional quality manager. Oh, okay. Because uh, uh, the opportunities for travel around the world are many. Oh, all right. So, but right now, are you working here in the country? Yes. Are you doing home office? Uh, I, my workplace is in a manufacturing company. Oh, okay. But I work uh, together with the regional manager for Columbia Forward. Oh, okay, okay. So the dream is to become the regional manager. Yes. Oh, I see. So you're very close. So you're very close to achieving it. So I hope in the future the dream comes true. That's really nice. So <laughs> If God willing, that will happen. So nice. Thank you guys for sharing your, your dreams. Now I have some questions that we are going to be checking. But before, I have just some uh, extra vocabulary for us. Part of the words that we need sometimes when we are talking about working are these. We have, for example, the schedules. We can have a full-time job, right? Working eight or 10 hours per day. We have part-time job that in El Salvador is like six hours. Uh, we have the pay slip. Normally, when you get your salary, your boss or your employer, they give you a piece of paper with the information, like how much money you make, 
they give you like um, the discounts, right? The insurance discount. So we call it pay slip, right? Or the piece of paper with the information of your payment. We also have salary and we have wage. So salary and wage, they are the same. They are the synonym. So if someone asks you, what is your salary? What is your wage? It's the same, exactly the same. So salary and wage. We have also to get a raise or uh, to get a pay raise, right? So to get more money, um, to work in shift. We normally call it shift. Some people work in the morning, some people work at night. So we normally call them shift. In my case, for example, I have classes in my night. I have a night shift. So I only work at night for classes, but I have another job during the day. So that is morning shift, afternoon shift, or night shift. Um, normally this applies in companies like Ironman, for example, that they have different schedules, some manufacturers. Guys, what about in your case? Do you work in shift? Does anybody work, for example, I don't know, like super early or at night? Nobody. No, right, maybe not. Nobody works in shift. Do, do you have, most of you, do you have a full-time job? So it's a full-time job. All right. There is another type of job that is a more common in the recent years, that is per hour. So you don't work anymore, um, what, as a full-time or as a part-time, but we work as freelancer. So this is like another um, category of working. If you are a freelancer, that means that, for example, if you are an accountant, if you are uh, a marketer, if you are, I don't know, you can have like a job outside your company and you work for projects, but you don't have a boss, right? So like being independent, so that is a freelancer. And normally you work with projects or you work per hour, so you earn per hour. That is like another way um, of jobs. It is not very common in El Salvador, just for some specific areas, but I think it works. And da -da -da -da. the others we have are this one, to work over time. Uh, in some companies, you will have it or you will know it as work OT. If you ever see I work OT, so that means over time. There's so famous horas extras that we work, right? So that is the OT, so to work over time. And uh, we have wage cut. So when you have a reduction in your salary. And the last one is group wage or wages, that is just salary, right? When we are talking about money earned for salary. Uh, guys, do you have any question with these words? Are you familiar with them? No teacher, but for me it could be difficult the pronunciation to work in like for nine, for the pronunciation because I, the chief, the chief. The, oh, pair. Chief. That, that, that's what that's what the pronunciation for me is difficult this shift. word shift yeah shift shift, mm -hmm. ah, shift. So, yeah normally we have like morning shift morning shift like morning shift afternoon shift or night shift those are like normally they divided like in three but i don't yeah, know mm -hmm. so like the bad words you you know like shift. oh the other word the pronunciation <laughs> yeah yeah shift. i never thought about it now, oh well there are three words that are similar no but this yeah. is shift uh -huh, like with f yeah. shift mm -hmm. not me. not the other one <laughs> the okay other one. <laughs> yeah guys any any other question with the vocabulary or are we okay are we fine Okay, I guess no questions. So let's practice. I have here a couple of questions that I think are quite interesting. Um, give me just a second because I eliminated one, but I don't know what happened. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one sec. 
probably I forget to, to save it. Okay, there it is. So I have just some questions so we can discuss uh, and we can talk a little bit about work related things and employment. So for example, number one says, are you a hard working? Are you a hard worker? Do you consider yourself a hard working person? It, what motivates you to work? Do you have any motivation besides money? Um, when you were a child, what did you wanna be when you grew up? So we always had this dream of, I don't know, being a mechanic, being a nurse, being a doctor. So what did you want to be in the past? And the last one says, how important is it to get along with coworkers? Do you think it's important to have a good relationship with the people around you? Or it is not that necessary? Is it a good idea to socialize with them outside work? Do you normally go out with your coworkers? Do you celebrate birthdays outside work? Do you have a good relationship with them? What do you think about that? Um, guys, we are going to uh, go in groups. We are going to discuss these three questions. So if you can take a picture or let me just copy and paste it um, so we can go and discuss. You don't need to write anything. So just let's enjoy it and talk about it. So give me one moment here and I'm gonna send you there. Da, 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 da. There we go. So guys, uh, I'm gonna give you like 10 minutes so we can discuss the questions, give your opinion, talk about it. And then we come back and we are going to share some ideas. So 10 minutes guys, let's go, let's go there. Let me know please if you have any difficulty accessing. Uh, do you read me? Uh, ¿Se escucha? We can hear you. Yes, we can okay. hear you. Okay, okay. Uh, are you a hard worker? Uh, are you a hard worker? Uh, Sofia, are you a hard worker? Yes, I do. What motivation do you work, Sophia? Hello? What motivation do you work? The internet is bad. So bad. <laughs> See, <laughs> I don't understand you. Okay. Uh, what, motivate, what motivates you? To work. What's the reason for you to work? Yeah. Sophia, uh, what's motive? The reason. Oh, okay, the reason. Is it's hard to continue work, but it's for for the kids, for the family to continue their life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. What motivation? <clears throat> the problem was the COVID. 
because I have my office and I I close my office because no one I don't have clients. Sorry. Uh huh. I didn't. Sorry. Sorry for you. No one. No one knows more, not gonna answer the first one. The first one is, are you a hard worker and what motivates you to work? Okay, no one more gonna say something? I don't know, Irving, I don't know, Chris, Francis. Hey, I think, uh, yeah, I'm a hard worker. I have to be a hard worker uh, because in the IT area, you have to, uh, for example, if a customer has a, a problem or an issue with its computer or services, you have to uh, you have to respond quickly in order to uh, provide them with a solution. That is, uh, you have to be quick as quick as possible. And what motivates me? Um, it motivates me because um, you have the opportunity to know and develop uh, different areas like customer service, like tech support area, um, and understand um, the services that you, your um, company is providing to our customers. So you have uh, you have to acquire all the knowledge or to in order to uh, provide with the best solution to our customers. Yes, and what about Francisco. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I, I am not a hard worker. Uh, my my work my, my job is 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 easy. For uh, you, you think that it's easier. For me, uh, my job yes. is is easy. How many? Just to uh -huh. clarify, hard worker means that you work hard. Uh -huh. so means that you work a lot. That um, you are not a lazy person. So it's not that your job is super super exhausting. No, hard worker means that you are always doing something and you are not a lazy person. So are you hard worker? Uh, I don't understand, teacher. Okay, um, hard worker is the opposite of lazy. Are you lazy or are you hard worker? What is lazy? Oh, lazy is a person who doesn't work. <laughs> a person who says, I, I don't wanna do anything. I don't want to work today. I'm going to go to Seguro Social and say that I'm sick. <laughs> so that is lazy. Uh, and hard worker is the opposite. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, I have a driver. And yeah, I think that uh, the uh, to, dr to drive is uh, in, in, in my job is is easy and and I think I am I am not lazy. Uh huh. Exactly. So you are hard worker mm -hmm. because no one can pass all the day driving. Like it's hard. The traffic. I don't know. The crowded. I don't know. It is a stressful. Like, that is for me, it's hard. You uh, mean in the, in the car all the day, only we sit, it be driving, it's hard. So in, the, in this case, with this question, also I'd be a hard worker like a mom <laughs> because I always That's have right. something to do. I, I yeah. understand. Okay. Uh, uh, is hard worker, uh, driver is hard worker. So you are you are a hard worker. What happens is that um, there is a little confusion normally because the word 
uh, hardworking or hard worker, we feel it like, oh, si es muy duro mi trabajo. Uh -huh. But hard worker doesn't mean that. Hard worker means que usted es trabajador. So yes, Francisco, you are a hard worker person. Uh -huh. We all, we all are hard working people. Yeah. So yeah, that was, I think, the, the confusion. But I'm glad you got it. I'm happy you got it. Okay. And Chrissia, you don't say nothing about this question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I am, I am a study, but maybe I can explain about my career, what motivates me to study that. So uh, I, I, I don't know why you are very quiet, this group, <laughs> like very, don't talk a lot. So Crisia, what is your career? Hello. Hello. Your career, what is it? Yes, sorry, I have problems with my internet, but I was uh, indecided between study general medicine, clinic mm -hmm. laboratory, and dental surgery. Uh, finally, I decided to study dental surgery because I think it's a combination uh, with other careers because it's not only the same thing, thief, but it is also a study the human body, aesthetic and physical appearance and other areas. But so you're gonna that. you're gonna be a dentist, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but the, the career is a doctorado en cirugía dental. So you are the, the other than so the she is going to be I'm, a surgeon. Surgeon, yes. yeah. Uh -huh. Because so I, I have experiences the with, the, with the process with brackets. I have the yes. brackets for six years. So when the dentist can do something like extraction, Mm -hmm. Called the I don't remember maxillofacial. There is another yes. another thing. There is a like, yeah. medicine that that is a specialization. But you are uh, a doctor. Yes, but maybe you can study the eight years in sur dental surgery, and then you can be a, a specialization in maxillofacial, orthodontic, endodontic. Mm -hmm in other areas. So you're going so to be a surgeon. It's a career, like, yes. it's like, it's Very a lot similar like to medicine. medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's similar to that, for that I say that it's similar to the uh, general medicine because it's the same years in the study in the university. So it is really long. And how many yeah. years do you have with study the career? I begin my six years. Oh, nice. So yeah, you are just two years close. away. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Can you give me one, one scene with you? <laughs> I want to see you. You in can my... practice with me if you want. I okay, think I, did a, I did volunteer. <laughs> no, yeah, teacher. I don't, I don't know that when it's a dentist or something that I, someone is studying medicine. I know that you need to have volunteer to do your work. So you want to volunteer? I be I want to be your volunteer. I need someone. <laughs> I'm not yeah, willing to be a volunteer. <laughs> no with oh, no, I just kidding. Oh, we, <laughs> no, I, I I mean I know that they they really need like to practice and all that, but I think you go to a hospital or something like that. So but two years, you're almost done, Christian. So cool. Yeah, congratulations. Oh my God, guys, yes, time is born. Give me just a second, let's go back. Did 
Teacher, I need to go right now. Yes, don't worry. We are leaving at the moment. All right. Guys, I just want to say uh, thank you so much for your participation. That was really cool. We do need like some other vocabulary to talk about working. We are going to continue with this tomorrow. Um, just um, like a little, what? I, I just need like a favor from your side. Um, I sé que la mayoría ya terminó con la plataforma. I was checking and thanks a lot for that. Eh, solamente algunos se me han quedado un poquito atrás, right? Um, ya que terminamos el día jueves, guys, si les pido su ayuda completando la plataforma, no está muy complicada o muy larga. So, si tienen alguna dificultad todavía con los ejercicios, let me know. But si les pediría eh, su colaboración completando la plataforma para el día jueves, right? Um, como fecha límite, you know. So, thank you so much, guys, a los que ya terminaron. Thanks a lot. Eh, los que ya están como al día con la plataforma, quienes ya la cerraron. And thanks a lot for your participation. Los espero el día de mañana. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Have an amazing night and enjoy it. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.